Ohio colleague, Debbie Dingell, talking, Congresswoman from Michigan, but she was making some salient points about the American people being left out of the process that best benefits them today. Infrastructure could have been a bipartisan move, and it didn't happen today at the White House. So first off, I, I listen to her comments, and she says people elected Donald Trump to do something. Donald Trump has acted. I mean, we have historic unemployment rates, Harris, 3.2% yes. economic growth. We have a, a, a reputation around the world that's far stronger than eight years of Barack Obama. Donald Trump has done wonders, but the American people elected a Democrat majority in the Congress to actually make their lives better. Instead of focusing on legislation that helps their lives, they focus on Donald Trump and an endless set of investigations and resist movements that don't do anything for the American people, but does something for their base in the socialist swing of their party. Yeah, I don't know if you heard the Congresswoman Dingell say, even if we got all the money into the bloodstream of America right now for infrastructure, we'd still be 100 years away. She said today was particularly important because maybe you could start the clock. So, so first off, I do think infrastructure is important, but think back, remember when, when in, in 2010 when uh, Barack Obama did the stimulus package? Mm -hmm. um, you had almost a trillion dollars that was supposed to go into shovel-ready infrastructure shovel projects ready, like roads and bridges, that's right. None of that money went to infrastructure. Had we spent a trillion dollars 10 years ago, we would be well on that path. They squandered that money. Now it's our responsibility to find a bipartisan package that can actually build roads and bridges and airports and, and pipelines that are gonna make our, our country stronger. And I think the President wants to do it. I, I'm telling you, I've been around with this majority for about five months now, uh -huh. and they're not interested in finding bipartisanship. They don't want to work with the president. They don't want to secure the border. Um, they, they just want to fight him. And so, if you want to work together and you have a pure heart, we can actually get things done. Because I'm an American before I'm a Republican. I want to work with Democrats. I think the president does too. I I, I don't see them as honest brokers and trying to get these packages yeah, you know what's across interesting the line. About what you just said, that trillion dollars that was not spent because shovel ready became like a hashtag yeah. <laughs> and where is the shovel ready it's so fascinating that you take us back to that point and remind us that even sometimes when these things get agreed on there's so much of our money that it doesn't always go the way that it's supposed to uh, representative duffy i, I want to get your reaction to things that uh speaker pelosi is saying at a current event right now we showed everybody off the top of this newscast the center for america progress she took the microphone and whatever topic they were going to cover she was talking about the president here's what she said on the cover-up language she used it's not just the substance that we're after and we want to have to give the truth to the american people but in striving to get that the intervention that the um uh, that the obstruction that the administration is engaged in is um as they say, the cover-up is frequently worse than the crime. Now it's they, but it was definitely her words earlier, the president is engaged in a cover-up. So Harris, Democrats with their fake investigation that was based on the Democrat-funded Russian dossier um, are now saying that Donald Trump is trying to cover things up. I mean, Bob McGahn, his, uh, uh, Don McGahn, uh, President Trump's lawyer, sat for over 30 hours. Donald Trump answered questions. He gave him over a million documents. He didn't stop this investigation at all. And remember, Democrats said, this is the sacred cow. Bob Mueller and what he finds uh, will stand with. Well, Bob Mueller found there was no Russia collusion. And he didn't find that there was any can, obstruction. Can I step Democrats in real quickly should, before sure. I know I have to let you go and get back to work on Capitol Hill? So, Congressman Duffy, uh, previously, Congresswoman Dingell said, well, if the president would just stop, you know, stonewalling and, and let them talk to the people they want to talk to, uh, how could that make a difference in this, in this instance? And would it be worth it at this point for the president to say, yeah, go ahead, talk to Don McGahn, talk to whomever you want, date certain it has to all come to an end? I, I don't know, maybe you could, you could set a date. I, listen, I th that's beautiful if that was the case, Harris. They don't, they, they're not searching for the truth. Bob Mueller gave them the truth after a two-year investigation. All they're doing is looking for, you know, you know, political hits on the president. And so President Trump cooperated with Mueller. He's not going to cooperate with Jerry Nadler and his political hit job in, in, in the Congress. This has been investigated. There's been no collusion. Move on and work for the American people. But we're not going to play your games anymore. The president is spot on saying no more. All right, Congressman, thank you so very much. And congrats thank to you yours. and your wife on your next little one. God bless. Thank you. God bless. We'll have much more on this top story coming up with our power panel and Republican Senator James Risch.